Welcome to our mini tutorial on how to download and install Sage BusinessWorks. This tutorial will first cover how to download the Sage BusinessWorks product, then it will explain how to perform a new install, including how to create and share the folder necessary for a network install. This tutorial will then cover how to install the client setup on each workstation. Some tips before installing Sage BusinessWorks. Access the download at support.na.sage.com. A login is required to download the product, and if you had recently reset your password or the account has just been created, please wait about an hour before trying to download the product. The product download must be installed on the computer where the Sage BusinessWorks program and data resides. A client setup needs to be run on each workstation after the installation is complete at the server, and if upgrading from version 2012 or earlier, please back up and rebuild all modules in all companies prior to upgrading. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how to download the software. You're going to start by going to Internet Explorer, where Firefox works as well, and you're going to go to support.na sage.com. This is going to take you to the Sage Knowledge Base, which also houses the downloads of the Sage BusinessWorks files. When prompted, go ahead and click Log On. If you do not have an account signed up for the portal, go ahead and click Sign Up for a Portal Account. If you do not know your password, go ahead and select Reset My Password. Doing each of the, either of these items will take about an hour before you can access the portal. In this case, we're going to go ahead and enter our login and our password and click Log On. Once logged in, we're going to choose the My Downloads option and then choose Sage BusinessWorks. This is going to bring you to the Downloads and Updates portion of the page. You'll see the latest product updates, which is where you will find the full versions of our software, as well as the latest updates, which are the service packs. For this tutorial, we're going to use the Sage BusinessWorks 2017 download. Once the download displays, you're going to see you have two options for downloading. You're going to have Download Now, which uses the Download Manager, which is an additional software that's installed to your computer to assist with the download. Or you can try the Direct Download, which is a little bit faster and is to be used in case of any error messages. For this tutorial, we're going to use the Download Now option. If the download does not automatically display, go ahead and click the Manual Download option. Once the software has been downloaded, it's going to ask you to choose a location for the download. And for ease of use, we're going to select the Downloads folder and click OK. Once the download is complete, it's going to ask if we want to allow the program to make changes. And we're going to say yes to that. Then it's going to ask us where we would like to extract the installation files to on the local computer. We're going to leave it to the C drive default and click Setup. You'll now be prompted as a reminder for the PA DSS compliance. Uh, your credit card information will no longer be stored in the software, so if you're upgrading from an older version of the software, please be sure to set up a Sage Exchange account for storing of credit cards. And we're going to click Install Software to continue. And then we're going to type in the word install to confirm our intent to install the software. Once the files have been extracted, you are now ready to begin the Sage BusinessWorks installation. Now that the files have been downloaded, let's take a look at how to perform a new installation on a Sage BusinessWorks standalone or network server machine. If performing a standalone install, the next step of creating a new Sage folder and sharing it with full control can be skipped. To create a new 
the Sage folder, we're going to have you right click on the Start button and go to Open Windows Explorer. You're going to select the drive that you would like to place the Sage folder onto, and this is where the program and the data will reside. And then you're going to, in a blank area, right click and go to New and select Folder. This is where we're going to call the folder Sage and then we're going to verify the permissions of this folder. To set the permissions, recommend right-clicking on the Sage folder, going to Properties, clicking on the Sharing tab, and then click Advanced Sharing. Under Advanced Share, we're going to select Share this folder, and then under the Permissions, we're going to ensure that everyone has full control and hit apply. We're going to go ahead and hit OK again here and then we're going to verify that those permissions went over into the security tab. So under the security tab you're also going to want to see um, everyone or the authenticated users group showing in this display. So since none of these items are there we're going to click the add button again we're going to type in authenticated users and what the authenticated users group gets you is everybody that's physically logged into the computer using authentication we're going to go ahead and hit allow for full control and then apply and OK and then we're going to go ahead and close that out and now our Sage folder has been created and we're ready to perform the install so we're going to go back to the installation of Sage BusinessWorks and we're going to click on Install Sage BusinessWorks. Once we've selected Install Sage BusinessWorks, we're going to hit Next. We have to accept the terms of the license agreement after reviewing. And then this is where you're going to select the installation type. So if you're performing a standalone install, which is just BusinessWorks running on one computer, then you're going to select that option. If you're performing a network installation, you will choose that option followed by the product code that has been found within your activation email. In this instance, we're just going to do a workgroup install. So I'm going to put in WG for the product code and I'm going to click Next to continue. The next screen will either default to a location or it's going to ask you to select where your program and your data files reside. So I'm going to go ahead and go to that C folder, that C Sage folder that was created earlier. And then we're going to make sure that we have the program location listed there. And the same thing with the data. We're going to select the C drive, the Sage, and if there's no BW data folder that already exists, we're going to type in BW data. Then we're going to hit next to continue. <clears throat> this is asking you where you would like your pervasive folders to go. It can be held on the C drive or the D drive. Um, I'm going to leave it here as default. And continue. We are going to then select the client data path that was will display. This is going to be based upon what folder you had shared, which in this case we shared the Sage folder. So it's going to select the path that the clients are going to use and we're going to hit next. And then we're going to see what the installation files. This is the program group that it will display under the, the Windows Start menu. You're going to confirm the location of the install and when you're ready go ahead and click next. And then the installation is going to begin. The first thing that will be installed on a new install is the pervasive engine and that is then going to be followed by the Sage BusinessWorks installation. Now that the installation is complete we're going to go ahead and hit finish and then we're going to verify that we can log into Sage BusinessWorks using the default manager, 
user ID with no password. Now that we have verified that we can log in, the installation of the standalone version is complete. If you're continuing on to the network version, please see the part of this tutorial that will cover how to run the client setups. Now that we have completed the server portion of the install, I'm going to show you how to install a, a new Sage BusinessWorks client. So to begin with, we're going to right click on Start and click Open Windows Explorer. It's going to come up to the Windows Explorer window and this is where you're going to locate your server. Your server can either be found by browsing through the network and going to your server and there you'll see the Sage Business Works, uh, the Sage folder. Or you can type in backslash backslash and then just type in the name of the server. In this instance we will be typing in the server name and hitting enter and you see here now you also see the Sage folder. So we're going to double click on the Sage folder, we're going to double click on BW Prog, and then we're going to double click on the client setup. Once that's complete, you're going to double click autorun.exe and the install Sage BusinessWorks client will appear. And click on install Sage BusinessWorks client. You will get a user account warning likely, so go ahead and say yes to that. You will see the install will begin to prepare. We're going to click next. And then it's going to detect that if, if Pervasive is not installed, then it will tell you that Pervasive needs to be installed. And if this is any type of an upgrade, this will be the same thing as well. You'll get this message, so you go ahead and hit OK. You'll confirm what program group you would like to place your client in and hit next. And then you're going to verify the program path and the data path of that client. And then you're going to click next to continue. And the install is going to progress. And when complete, you will get a finish dialog screen. So we're going to go ahead and click finish. And then we're going to exit out of the client setup and double click the Sage BusinessWorks icon. And as you see here, you'll log in using uh, the desired credentials. And that's all that there is to installing a new client. I just want to thank you for viewing our video tutorial today on how to download and install Sage BusinessWorks. If you have any further questions, please visit our knowledge base at support.na.sage.com.